Derek Arthur, born on September 3rd, 1997, is a self-made YouTube creator renowned worldwide for his transformative impact on men's lives. Dedicated to shaping masculine individuals who achieve their goals, he has cultivated a global following through his platform. With over a decade of entrepreneurial experience, Derek spearheads the D. Arthur Nation movement, empowering men to become full-stack individuals. Embrace the journey to become a full-stack alpha male and unlock your true potential with Derek Arthur. Yo, 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 it's D. Arthur in the building. I'm speaking to you guys today about how to act when a woman ignores you. The bottom line is you have to act like you don't care. And you actually have to not care. The big misconception is that, you know, some girls may think that if she ignores him once, then he's gonna keep chasing and she's gonna get validated by that. But in all reality, that is, that's not what happens. That's not what, and that's not any sort of attraction. Attraction will not happen that way at all. If she, if she ignored you once and she feels, and you feel like you need to pursue her, you need to do different things to try to get her attention. I, there's some guys who are talking about, I tried multiple, multiple, multiple times to try to get, you know, to get with her. And then she eventually turned into her, his wife and things like that. And to be honest, I just don't recommend this behavior of multiply trying multiple times to try to get with her, trying to chase, to try to get, get her. People make it known what they feel about you based off how they treat you. So if you're trying, if you're trying multiple times to try to get her attention, at the end of the day, what you can really do is put your focus on something else that benefits your life. And I say this wholeheartedly because we, there's some times where you've been there where you didn't know about, you know, maybe female nature or anything like that. And you tried multiple times to try to get with a woman and it just never really worked out. And usually the guy who doesn't try as hard and there's some guys who doesn't like the Chad's and Tyrone's that we can say who doesn't try as hard, but still gets with her. These are usually the the guys that the girls can't are wanting to be with more. The guy who, where he's trying super hard. I mean, she's trying super hard to get with her, to get with him. So this is what you just you just have to put this in your mindset. Multiple trying to trying to get with her multiple ways, doing everything you can to try to get with her. It really you just it's not your best bidding. It's not in your best bidding. You have to be able to garner options for yourself. Make options for yourself. But how do you actually make options for yourself? You have to come across as an attractive guy in all aspects of your life. You have to become the attractive man that woman wants. This is what you have to be. But how do you really do this? You put yourself in the best light. Maybe it's all on your social media, on your dating profiles, things like that. Put yourself in the best light. Get a photo shoot. Do a photo shoot. Take the best seven, eight pictures. Put them on your social media. Become, have a, have a, have an intensive for a woman to message you first on some dating apps. Do this. This will filter the high interest girls versus the low interest girls. The whole like, creating attraction type of thing that only is that only works with women who had mediocre interests and now you're trying to increase attraction there are some women who have high attraction for you right off the bat and this is where you should put most of your focus to because there's no point to trying to increase attraction you just have to deal with women who are more interested in you women will who are you know, more interested in you will make themselves available for you. And you have to, but to be able to actually attract these things, you have to become across as attractive. And how do you become attractive? You, come, you become attractive by putting in work physically on yourself and also having a, 
tongue that is very intriguing. You have to have the ability to speak words that intrigue her, with her, intrigue her and captivate emotions based off how you speak. And she's more likely going to be attracted to you because of this. So there's two parts of this. Your physical, how you physically look. And then the words that you speak to her when you're talking to her. You do you you catapult on these two things. There's going to be attraction there. So if she ignores you. It would be in your best interest to just really not sweat yourself about it. And really not care. Really not care. I have had some times where there's women who show you a bunch of choosing signals, proximity flirt. They're getting in your area. You get their number, but then when you soon as you go ahead and try to text them it's a no-go they leave you on red they're not there but why is this it's because there's a difference between women who are interested in you and then women who just want attention you have to decide for yourself the women who are interested in you are more likely going to want to make themselves available to you if they say that they got to do things before blah 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 they got to do some things you know it really isn't that hard for you to shoot just say she was interested she would make her schedule available for you these are some of the things that you have to put in your mind there's so much excuses a lot of guys are going to give themselves excuses there's this there's this and that the bottom line the the bottom line is if we're talking about a bottom line is if she's making it harder for you she isn't as attracted to you as much you can go ahead and try to increase your attraction but what i'm saying is you just have to put your efforts into something someone who has initial attraction there's no there's no point to sweating it there's no point to beating yourself about it because guys beat themselves about it common man is beating themselves about it why why she's pulling back all these different things that she is doing you got to put the focus on yourself i was reading a book earlier i was listening to one overheard it and they were saying that you have to be fulfilled in yourself ha actually have a life and then uh, you know a woman is just an addition to an already great life. I have I have been living proof of this. I haven't been, I've been living proof of this. You talk to someone, you haven't talked to them in a while, you feel very good about yourself doing the self-improvement. I cannot stress to you how important self-improvement is as a man, feeling fulfillment in yourself. Once you feel fulfilled in your life, a lot of things are going to be added to you. Seek ye the kingdom of heaven, and all things will be added unto you. What does this really mean? It means seeking the most high righteousness. Once you've filled up your cup in terms of fulfillment in your life, and I mean fulfillment in all aspects, you're very ambitious, you're very eager, you're very passionate, you're very inquisitive, you're very, you can critically think. You have a lot of things that are going for you, physically, monetary-wise spiritually you can lead people you have a you have a you might even have a testimony you have good reason for a lot of things once you once all of these things are filled in your life and it's just getting better maybe you show yourself in, a, in some places in some social settings and just look at all the looks that you're getting you're getting a lot of looks people are showing interest in you as i walk there are some times <laughs> As I walk, there are some times where women are putting themselves in positions near me for the, me to get a conversation. This happens. This happens a good amount of times where I'm going to an event, I'm going to some sort of thing. A woman is right next to me. They don't say things, but sometimes you know they want to. They want you to approach them. They want you to speak to them. You have to realize this, and you have to make your move. You have to make the move. If she gets, if she starts getting close to you, near you, go ahead and start a conversation with her. You never know what may have happened, but all I'm saying is do not stress yourself over women who are showing low interest, who are, you know, leaving you on red, who aren't, you know, making themselves available. You have to realize, like, hey, if you're really, truly a high value man, if you're truly high value, you wouldn't be swinging because you have other things going on about yourself. And this is where we can dance in the rain now we know this knowledge that if you're truly high value you wouldn't be sweating it as much because you actually have things going on in your life you have a lot of different 
things that are going on in your life that you have to fulfill. This is how you have to look at it. If you have questions, like the video, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, I am already working with a few guys in my inner circle coaching program called the High Value Blueprint. We're working specifically with guys who have different needs that they have in their life. There's some guys who want to become more masculine. There's some guys who want to build a better physique. There's some guys who want to make more money. There's some guys who want to be more fulfilled. We look at all your the needs that you have in your life, build out, build out custom planning, custom coaching for you, tailor it to your needs, work with you one-on-one, -on -one, and then you get the results. Once you get the results, then you, you create a testimonial. If that sounds like you, and if you want more information, click on the link in the description down below, and we will see you in the next one.